Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our Gatling series. Today we are going to talk about how to use ramp users load simulation, which is like very important and such a nice method they have given in Gatling. So uh, for example, let's say I want to generate constant users, uh, you know, per second, let's say 10 users I want to generate for the next 10 seconds. And then I want to ramp up uh, from from within a range let's say from 1 to 10 users i want to generate within 20 seconds like that it's a very common scenario in uh, in load testing so how to do this so for doing this let me uh, create one more uh, class over here scala class and i simply say that okay this is let's see ram users uh, load uh, simulation and this class also will be extending the simulation class and then the script will remain same so last time also we have seen that the script will remain same so i'm going to copy this entire stuff from here to here and i just okay so i'll do one thing let me just remove these imports i'll just copy the imports from here okay now all the errors are gone so what i'm going to do that uh, the script will remain same same uh, rest.co.in authorization header i'm using it I'm getting the data from this particular csv file this only one row is available or if you don't want to read the data from csv guys you can directly uh, you can ignore it also you can directly write which user id or which post call or get call that you want to use that the script will remain same that doesn't matter checking the json path and everything and uh, yeah so let's see this is the script that i have used i'm going to remove this pause okay let's not use a pause over here because we have only one script and uh, this is the scenario let's see the scenario name i'm going to write that is uh, ramp users a uh, load a uh, simulation and uh, what i'm going to do that previously we have seen that okay this is first time we started with uh, 10 users and ramping the 15 users for the next five, five seconds so what i'm going to do that let me uh, remove this it means you do nothing for initial five seconds and then there is a method that is called see this constant users per second okay not the concurrent users constant user per second it means initially you started with the 10 users and then what is the duration the duration of for next 10 seconds let's see you want to write it for the next 10 uh, seconds and then you want to ramp up so there is a ramp user put a comma over here then only the suggestion will come uh, see this ramp users per second you can use that and you can give a range Okay, so ramp users per second, let's see one, uh, two, five users that I want to generate during 20 seconds. Okay, like this. And the protocol will remain same over here. So what do you mean by this? So constant per users per second means you have to inject the users at the constant rate. So this is a constant rate, the 10. For the uh, for the next uh, 10 seconds this is duration of the uh, ramp up period so whatever during a given duration you have to ramp up uh, uh, the users for the next uh, uh, for the next uh, 10 seconds with the 10 users this is a constant user per second and user will be injected at the regular interval basis okay mm -hmm. second thing is that i have used ramp users per second which is injects user from starting rate to target rate so from one to five within the defined users per second that we have given during a given duration like that so user will be injected at the regular interval basis for the next 20 seconds like that so this is what that i want to use this so uh so 10 constant user per second 10 during what next 10 seconds so it should be like 10 multiplied by 10 100 users should be generated initially so let's see how exactly the load is getting simulated with this particular scenario and then we have already given the proxy over here localhost 8080 with the fiddler so i'll open my fiddler also and let me just remove all these things clear the fiddler request previous request and then start the simulator and let's see how exactly it is working so run the engine and the simulator name is ramp user simulation so ramp user simulation number seven so i simply write number seven over here test load and i'll open my fiddler see it's waiting for five seconds and after that it will start that see you can see that back-to-back -back requests are coming 
Awesome, it's generating number of users and generating a load for this particular API. This is still running because uh, the load is quite high. Constant user per second means injects users at the constant rate. And the rate is 10, 10 users at the constant rate that we have to give the load and define in the user per second. So duration of the 10 seconds over here. So yeah, this is done without any error. And let's see the report first. So you can see all the requests coming over here, right? So I can see that there are total 1021-1181. So let's see how many requests from the report also we will see that. So we will see this index.html file, copy this and open in an, let's see in this particular tab only. And there are around 160 requests are there guys, okay. And for the 160 request, you can see the load like that. This is the active user along with the simulation load. This is a graph. You can see that started with the 10 and uh, and then keep increasing the load and then active user at this point of time, 14 users were there, four more introduced because we have written the ramp user per second also from one to five during the 20 seconds and then uh, active users and this is a load simulation and uh, so this is the peak time that we got it and then after that uh, keep scrolling down and then up up and then finally active users only one so you can see ramp user load simulation this is the uh, scenario name and active users this orange color mean these are the active users at this point of time okay and this is the response time we got 25% uh, uh, over here okay duration for this particular time so percentage of the request that we got maximum 25 percent over here that is a peak over here response time percentile you can see that uh, okay that graph we can check it later number of requests per second you can see the exactly same graph that we are getting it over here like this okay and the number of response per second that is also almost same graph that okay response that we are getting over here with respect to their active users and uh, you can go to the details and there are around 160 requests that executed and the graph also you can see it over here and then you can see the matrix same matrix you will see it over here that is 160 request count over here so the request count is this response time around 290 maximum response time uh, 564 this is the minimum response time and the average mean response time around 312 over here deviation of 20 milliseconds 22 milliseconds like that so that you can share these uh, kind of reports and you can do some performance uh, analysis over here with the dev team that where exactly which request with this uh, duration of number of uh, seconds or with these number of uh, users uh, this is the maximum peak time that okay we are getting and then this is not according to the benchmark so like this guys you can simply do that okay so this is the thing guys uh, for uh, uh, ramp up user load simulation we can do this okay in the next video i'll tell you the how to generate the fixed duration load simulation and the concurrent uh, load generation also we can see that okay so that's all for this particular video please do that the script will remain same you just need to simulate your uh, scenarios over here if you really want to read about this about these uh, uh, different methods for the load simulation you can simply uh, go to gatling cheat sheet this is what i'm referring it and simply click on it and here you will see all the uh, methods over here loops conditions error handling simulation configurations everything you will get it over here i told you right the csv feeder also that is available feeder strategies everything i'm reading it from here only and these are the uh, injection profiles at once user ramp up user constant per user per second you can see it over here inject users at a constant rate defined in user per second during a given duration that is what i told you and then ramp users per second means injects user from the starting rate to the target rate it means from one to five that we have given during 20 seconds defined in user per second during a given duration over here then so this is the example exactly same example i have taken for you guys okay and then initially do nothing it means pause a specific duration do nothing pause for a given duration that we have given over here like that and then this is the constant concurrent user maintained a constant number of concurrent user at the same time 
and then this is a ramp concurrent users uh, scale number of concurrent users that you can give it from number users to the uh, two number of users you can do that within this particular duration of time okay so you can just refer this particular cheat sheet they have given all the methods from the gatling library and you can write your script accordingly till then take care thank you so much please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues guys